20 years ago, sea turtle nests were in steep decline. But this year, from beaches in Virginia, south and all along the Gulf Coast, a strong resurgence with more than 20,000 nests. But Robert, there is a problem. More and more female turtles are being hatched, and that's all due to that climate change. A turtle sex is actually determined by the temperature of the sand. sand and not chromosomes. Did you know that, Robert? I did, I did not know that. I did that. not know that either. So apparently if it's above 88 degrees, okay. then it'll be a female turtle, and if it's obviously less, it'll be a male. Really? So like That's a family of turtles, if they have uh, three sons already, they're heading south. They're yes, going to the Yes, basically. Hot beach. Hey, Come how on. cool is that? Let's but get I mean, that done. Cool that you know, it's not really being balanced right now, but sure. tell me more about that weather, that climate change, uh, okay. what is happening. Hint, tomorrow it's a female turtle day. <laughs> you okay, know what cool. I'm saying. <laughs> okay, nice <laughs> and hot, close to 100 degrees, I'm predicting 99. I guess it's a female turtle day today too, 97 at the airport right now. The dew point is 47, 18% relative humidity. Winds coming in from the east at about 8 miles per hour. Here are the other high temperatures through the borderland today. 97, Alamogordo, 81, Ruiz. So 95 so far for Las Cruces, 94 Deming and 97 in Juarez. So look at the satellite radar composite. No surprise here. We expected the thunder showers to stay to the west, and that's where they are, right over the mountains of the Gila Wilderness, where we have seen a couple of flood advisories earlier today around Silver City. They don't mind. They need the rain badly. And we're going to get our chance of some rain showers as well starting late Tuesday night. We'll go from a chance of rain to the threat of heavy rainfall. We have an area of tropical moisture right here, right on the Gulf of Mexico, that's slowly moving toward the north and west. Well, that plume of moisture actually moves over us late Tuesday into Wednesday. That will increase the chance of thunder showers and the threat of heavy rainfall. Radar composite right now, very quiet. We've had a couple of little pinpoint showers, but nothing major tonight. A few clouds that will turn mostly clear. Here's the structure of the atmosphere. It's this low pressure system right here combined with that Gulf moisture that will move in on Tuesday. Tomorrow, a hot day, close to 100, couple of clouds. Clouds. We could see a couple of pinpoint drops here or there. Nothing major unless you go west toward Deming and Silver City. Here are the temperatures right now. 95 Alamogordo, 91 Deming, 95 Juarez, and 94 in Van Horn. Your low temperatures tonight, 67 Alamogordo, 68 Deming, 73 Juarez, and 70 in Van Horn. High temperatures tomorrow, 97 Alamogordo, 98 Las Cruces, 97 Deming. It won't shock me if we touch 100 in what is tomorrow afternoon. Clear skies, 68 degrees tonight in Las Cruces. Tomorrow, your high temperature, 98, with again, that very slight chance of a couple of drops out of some dark clouds that'll brew up with the afternoon heat, 73. Hour low tonight, with again, that slight chance of a stray drop or two, then turning clear tomorrow, same story. 99 degrees, not a great chance of rain for tomorrow. Now, only KTSM gives you nine full days of weather, but my chief concern right now starts Tuesday evening. Look at the high on Tuesday, only 88 degrees with potentially strong thunder showers. Strong thunder showers periodically through Wednesday, our stormiest day with a high temperature of only 81 and that threat of heavy rainfall. Then it tapers off a couple of morning drops on Thursday with a high of 90 and then back to normal monsoon mode, low to mid 90s Friday through Sunday and then a little cool front comes in and you want that fall like feel Tuesday high temperature 84 degrees. I oh, will feel the tingly fingers of fall.